Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Target 100 in Mathematics by Shivesh Kumar Singh and in this video we are going to learn some questions for question number 3 and this is the revision for term and examination for grade 8 okay and questions I have taken from your reveal maths book from Ministry of Education see let's discuss the questions this question is related with the transformation okay I am sure you have seen my videos for the transformation where I have explained everything in detail about the reflection about the translation about the rotation and about the dilation okay see determine if following pair of figures is similar if so describe the sequence this thing we'll see later but first we'll see how to decide whether the face two figures are similar or not you see if sides if ratio of their sides are the same for example here what is the side of AB 2 and what is the side of EF it is 1 means one block I am taking so 2 over 1 means 2 okay now here again if you count this AD this is what how much 1 2 3 4 5 6 so this is 6 over it is how much 1 2 3 so this is 3 so it will be again 2 okay similarly for DC it is 2 and for HG it is 1 so it is 2 again and the last uh, or you can say yes 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 6 over 3 that side so it is equal to 2 now you can see ratio of all the sides is same yes so it means they are similar okay and if they are similar then definitely we can transform them on one picture onto another that sequence of the transformation we have to think here so what we can do here see first if we enlarge the smaller picture that green picture okay because they are not writing here that which picture has to be transformed onto which picture so i am taking that e f g h is going to be transformed on a b c d so definitely if you are going to transform the smaller picture into bigger picture larger picture then you will have to enlarge it okay and for enlargement what is the scale factor scale factor is this ratio that is 2 it means you will make all the size double like this okay so earlier you see width was 1 and now it is 2 earlier it was one side was 3 now it is 6 so every side is doubled now and how you will transform now you can see you have two ways because here difference distance from y axis is the same 1 2 here and 1 2 here also yes all the distances are same so one type of transformation can be reflection in y axis okay reflection in y axis and another type of transformation can be it can be the translation also how translation because if you want to shift g to d how much unit you will have to shift 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so translation 6 units to the left okay no need to go up or down because they are on the same straightward horizontal line okay so these are the two possible transformations for these two pictures to be transformed onto one and another okay now let's go to the second question here they say i think this is the same type of question yes so first we'll see that whether they are similar or not now you see here one side is one two three here also one side is one two three same no problem here it is two but here it is three they are not same so it means they are not similar and why they are not similar as their ratios or what you can do here you can find the ratio also see ab divided by ed means it is 3 divided by 3 means 1 but ef okay first i written ab so write bc over ef it is equal to 2 over 3 means it is 2 over 3 but certainly it is not going to be equal to 1 so it is not similar as ratios of the sides ratios of the sides are not same or not equal okay like this you can write the reason next question can be triangle abc is similar to the triangle xyz determine which sequence okay same type of question now you see here 
uh, okay here they have given which sequence of transformation maps ABC to XYZ now you see we have to transform ABC to XYZ it means you will have to enlarge the picture okay because the smaller has to be transformed onto bigger so what we are going to do here here we'll find first we'll see whether they are same or not similar or not so a b divide by take one side any one side i'm taking x y okay so x y i'm writing small x small x y so a b is 1 x y is 2 so this is 1 over 2 now a c a c is uh, 1 2 okay and uh, what i will take here x z so it is also 2 over x z is 4 so again it is coming 1 over 2 so here we do we have any other okay maybe in exam maybe i have forgotten to write this value because sometimes they will give you this value okay and this value because so that we are not applying for the pythagorean theorem here to find this distance but like in this question you can see here they have given this value yes this value same here also they must give maybe they have given and i forgot to write here it's okay so 1 over 2 ratio is the same so i am assuming that third ratio will also be same so it means pictures are similar now if it is a similar picture then what we can do we can transform and what's the ratio half so i have taken here you see x y z i have taken before but if you take a b c before first then we have to make it double okay so what you will do you will do like x y z is double of the triangle a b c it means scale factor is 2 so just make it double okay all the sides are doubled now now here is the problem how to check the transformation because direction of the triangles are not same so we cannot think about translation only what we can do now it's very easy if you think little analytically okay write the coordinates of b what is the coordinate of b b coordinate is 1 1 oh, sorry another another one this is say for example p q r okay so coordinate of p not b coordinate of p is 2 2 coordinate of q is 4 2 coordinate of r is 4 minus 2 okay now if we think about because if we are here and we have to go this side then in which direction we try to rotate we will rotate in counterclockwise okay so we will think about 90 degree rotation counterclockwise about origin so what was the formula do you remember that 90 degree counterclockwise formula was x y will be changed to minus y x do you know this do you remember that if no then please watch those videos okay so minus y x so its coordinate will be minus 2 and 2 what the simple method i told you for this just interchange the values of x and y and then value of x will become negative because it is in the second quadrant okay just interchange the values of x and y and change the sign of x okay like this now just check it okay it is not like that i am saying and you are believing like this okay now let's check it see one translation we go, one uh, rotation we got minus 2 2 you see minus 2 2 is this point so it is taking as y okay now minus 2 4 so minus 2 4 where minus 2 4 this one so this point i am taking as x so okay and r also it is plus 2 4 so plus 2 4 is z so it is z so what we can see here r i mean p will go to y q will go to x and r will go to z it means that rotation will work so what is the transformation here rotation of 90 degree in counterclockwise direction about origin okay like this you will finish this question okay this question was really very good question now this question sharina is creating a mural for her bedroom wall she would like to copy a picture that is 2 centimeter by 2.5 centimeter so this is the original picture 2 
and 2.5. Then she uses a copy machine to enlarge it by a scale factor 4. Scale factor 4 means all sides will be 4 times. So like this it will be means it will be 8 and it will be 10. Okay. Then she projects it on her wall by a scale factor of 12. Oh my god. So now this is scale factor 12. 12 of what? This. So 8 times 12 means 96 and 10 times 12 means 120. So what are the dimensions of the mural now? So this is 96 by 120. Okay. Now what is the second part of the question? Are the enlarged picture similar to the original one? Yes, they are, in, they are similar. Why? Because they are using, they are enlarged by a scale factor. So all ratios are same. So it will be similar. Okay. Now another question can be, which of the following sequence of transformation can be used to show that two figures are similar but not necessarily congruent. Okay. Congruent means same shape and size. And similar means shape will be same but size not necessarily to be same. Now you see, can be used to show that two figures are similar but not necessarily to be congruent. Okay, so dilation and rotation. You see, dilation, you change the picture, you change the size of the picture but shape doesn't change. Okay, so it will be similar and rotation doesn't change the size also. It is congruent as well. Translation and reflection. Here both the things will be congruent. Translation also congruent and reflection also congruent. Okay, because they don't change the size. Reflection and rotation. This is also not required here because reflection and rotation both do not change the size. Rotation and translation both do not change the size of the picture. So only this option will be Correct, because in dilation, we change the size, okay? I am sure, my dear students, you understood these questions. And if you think that such videos will help you to increase your knowledge, please like and subscribe my channel and share with your friends. Thank you.